Hello everybody, I'm Ahmed Ishan from Team Expert. Today I'm gonna start Joomla video tutorial series. Before we dive into the details of the tutorial, first we have to learn about Joomla admin panel. To have a quick dive into the Joomla admin panel, simply go to the URL bar and type administrator at the end of your website address and hit enter. At the end of the URL, the login link appears. Simply type your username and password and click onto the login button. This is the first screen you see when you successfully log into your Joomla admin panel. At the left side of the screen, we have a series of shortcuts. These are little icons that will take you to some of the most commonly used areas inside of Joomla, including making articles, article manager, the media manager, menu manager, and various configuration screens. So let's take a look at the menus that goes at the top of the page. There are the series of the menus with the drop down and various informations on the each of the menus. The system menu is where you can go to the control panel, set global configuration, check items into the website to the global check-in. You can clear cache and purge your expired cache and learn about your system informations. Under the user menu item, you will find a lot of things that you can look at your user, including creating new users, signing them password, as well as all of the commands that you are going to need to configure ACL for your website. ACL is access control list that defines who sees what and who can do what on your website. The last item of the menu, you can find mass mail users. Mass mail users is an option where you can send email only in text format to the people who are registered for your Joomla website. In the menu items where you got the opportunity to make new menus for your website as well as add items to the existing menus. To the content menu, you can add new pieces of content to your website including articles as well as manage images in the media manager. Component provide huge functionality that we add to Joomla. They take up entire screen when they display, so things like the contract form for the website are the example of that. Here you can update Joomla, redirect link and so on. Under the extension manager, you would find functional item that manage your Joomla website in a great extent. Here you find the module manager, the plugin manager, the template manager, and lastly the language manager. Finally, the help menu contains a lot of great resources for getting additional help with Joomla. You can go to the official support forum, which is at forum.joomla.org which is where you can go and ask many questions about Joomla, how it works. Here is the documentation wiki which provides you an opportunity to read about Joomla after a click. You can also find here the Joomla extensions and Joomla translations and Joomla resources, which are one of the finest features for the Joomla developers. If you want to update it about the activities of Joomla community, the community follow is for you. Security Center, Developer Resources, and Joomla Shop are those helpful features that provide you the opportunity to speed up your Joomla development process. Over here on the right top corner, you will find a link of the front end of your website. If you want to visit the front end of your website, just have a click and visit. After the front end link of your website, there is a down arrow. Simply click on it, here you will find the super user. Here is the where you can edit your username and password and edit some additional content about yourself. If you want to log out from the admin panel, simply go to the logout button and click on it. Down to the very left bottom corner of the screen, you find a link to visit the front end of your website. These two little icons represents who visit your website as a visitors and an admin. The little mail icon indicates anybody who might have been sent you an email within the Joomla system. Finally, if you click on the logout link, 
you of course will log out of the backend of Joomla. So now, you might have been familiar with Joomla. It's time to move on to the next video. In the next video, we will learn how to create a new article in Joomla. Thanks for being with us.